MoffettCountyProud.com is excited to bring you 2017 Moffett County High School Basketball. Tonight's game features the visiting Basalt Longhorns and your Moffett County Bulldogs. Action brought to you by these Moffett County Proud businesses. Bank of Colorado, there's only one. Severson Supply and Rental. TMH, the Memorial Hospital. 3B Enterprises, sand, rock, and gravel products. Rocky Mountain Machinery, your local Kubota dealer, machines that move mountains. Cook Chevrolet, Ford, and Subaru. Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services. Mountain Air Spray. Colorado Northwestern Community College, home of the Spartans. GCR Tires and Service, your local tire destination in Craig. DNP, Duran and Pierce Contractors. Craig, Family Dental, Chaos Inc., Identity Graphics, Epp and Associates Professional Land Surveyors, Bear River Young Life, Rocky Mountain Automotive, and Craig Veterinary <laughs> Ethics, integrity, and respect are values important in our daily lives. On the playing field, they are translated into the world of sporting behavior. Sporting behavior is one of the strongest educational lessons and lifetime values taught by interscholastic athletics. Remember sporting behavior. It's the essence of the game. A message from the Colorado High School Activities Association. We'll be right back. It's Longhorns vs. Bulldogs right here on MoffettCountyProud.com. Remove your hats and join in our national anthem. It will be played today by Ben Stoddard. Number 
34, a junior, J.C. McDiffin! And now it's time! Your starters for tonight's game in alternating order. First, for the visiting team, the Longhorns. Number one, a junior, Nicole Alvarado. For your Lady Bulldogs, number one, a senior, Frogger, Alex Hamilton. Number three, a senior, Carson Knox. For your Bulldogs, number 10, a junior, Miss Pac-Man, Jenna Campoletti! Number four, a junior, Kate Truck! For your Bulldogs, number 20, a senior, Hubert Joe C. King! Number 12, a junior, Cynthia Miramontes! For your Bulldogs, number 32, a senior, Mario Maddie Joe Dufin! Number 30, a freshman, Michelle Marshall! And last but not least, for your Lady Bulldogs, number 40, a junior, Zelda Makita Baker! Now, let's be loud, let's be proud, let's get ready to rumble! Ready to go, McKenna Baker wins the jump ball. Bulldogs will start it here against the Basalt Longhorns at Moffat County High School. Yeah, it should be a, a real fun game here on Saturday. Unusual for basketball, we don't get many of these. Hopefully we have a few down in the future. I mean, we're in the regional tournament and the first shot of the game is off the back iron by Josie King, but McKenna Baker's right there to put it back in for two. And Basalt immediately throws it away coming down the court. And one of the things that teams have struggled with this season, Shane, against Moffitt County is our pressure defense. Yeah, I mean, that press that we break out uh, a lot of the game is just immense and really hard to deal with. And uh, give us a lead, as they say. Ah, nice. Oh, almost. It was a nice pass inside, dropping dimes. Missed shot. So the Bulldogs with a 2-0 lead, and as our coach says, give us a lead and let us defend it, and we are going to win almost every single time. The Salt's going to slow it down, try to keep it a little longer than they did last time. It almost gets taken away there. Reset up top. Baseline jumper, no good. Rebound to Hamilton. That was a nice shot, actually. Baseline lefty. As the salt drove to the baseline, put up a nice shot, just missed a little long on the shot, but she had an open shot there. And that was Kyle, well, that was number three for uh, uh, Carson Knotts. Thank you, Kip. And that's exactly what you want to do with that defense. They trap them in the corner, and that's your third man. Is that out of bounds? And they almost get another turnover. Tough defense by the Bulldogs. Yeah, I mean, they had them to the point where they had to just get rid of it or they were going to get the five-second call. So it's hard to just get the ball over half court against the Moff County Lady Bulldogs. There's another steal. Addy it's Joe Duzik comes up with it on the loose ball. Smart job. It was a two-on-one, but we lost the dribble a little bit. Look at this. King drives to the hoop. Looks like she was fouled. No call. Gets nice back save inside. by Hamilton. Gets it knocked into Duzik. Not able to make it fall and picked up by the Longhorns. And again, same basalt shooter, that is Carson Knotts. Knotts, the senior. And she just misses a little bit long. She's had two open shots for the uh, southpaw shooter. Von Horns will throw it out underneath. Bulldogs on a tight man and a stuff by Duzik. Great defense, picked up, rebound, Baker. So the Bulldogs slow it down a little bit, set up their half-court offense. 
tried to throw it down low, but it's out on the salt. So let's see what the Bulldogs do here. Usually they have King inbounds. They'll set up their stack over here. See what play they run from the inbound. Straight under the basket. Nice pass. And that is, a, oh, it should have been the great assist there. Just missed that shot. Yeah, and a nice move by Duzik to set herself up. Just didn't go through the way she wanted. Didn't finish the way she wanted to, but made a great move to get a good look. And I tell you, she's going to make 9 out of 10 of those shots. I guarantee it. I don't think she'll miss another one from point blank range. Here we go. Josie trying to heat up. Hasn't hit it yet. That one was close. Good rebound now by Vassal, and it's only a 2-0 ball game right now, Kip. 5.30 left here in the first period. Moffat County has had a lot of really good looks right now. Four times down the court, great looks, but nothing uh, to add to that scoreboard. Here's a nice pass inside, and it's a tie ball game. That's, That's the freshman, Shane Michelle Marshall, that puts that in. Tell you what, that was a great feed down low. She does a nice drip, drop step for the shot. Now down low to Baker. She got blocks, and it's going to be Basalt's ball. So uh, off the efforts of that last offensive possession for Basalt, they had a great pass down low, made the shot, tied the ball game at 2-2, two to two, and now they have the opportunity with this possession to take a lead. And you know what? Not too bad beating the press so far, Kip. And they're going to call the foul here on Tuzik. And she, you know, put the ref in a tough spot. When the player goes to the ground, they're either going to call a travel or a foul there. And it looked like the right call. Under five minutes to go here in the first period. Big game for the Bulldogs here. Definitely need to pick up a win and stay in, the, in that second place spot in the Western Slope Conference. If they do that, um, that will guarantee them a home district game uh, in a few weeks. Fingers crossed for that, my friend. There's a nice three-point shot by Vassal. It just rims out. So the Bulldogs will be inbounding with the score tied 2-2. Two to two. And as you said, man, the more home playoff games you can get, the better. My goodness, how much fun have we had over the years coming up here and rooting on these teams when they get into that playoff round. inside. The speedster Hamilton with the ball. King's wide open but a little hesitant now. She's gone 0 for 2 to start this ball game. Dues it to a wide open player. Baker, oh! Camaletti up. No good. Fouled hard. She'll be to the line shooting too. Beautiful pass across that baseline from Duzik to a wide open Camaletti. First free throws of the night. Cavaletti, a good free throw shooter. Shane, one of the better on the team. Oh, no the good kiss on the first of one. death. <laughs> Don't worry, I do it all the time too, kid. Should have waited until after she shot, right? <laughs> yeah. That's what we always say, right? It's a good looking shot, all the way to the point where it missed. <laughs> so she can drop this one in. Oh, and gets the roll. See that very often. Hits back iron, has enough spin and momentum to fall. And the Bulldogs back in front by one. Nice trap. See, I like it. I like the fired up bench. Coach nice. Nebaker going, get it, get it, get it. And they did. They trapped it and forced the turnover. Yeah, how animated was our coach right there? This is an important game. That was a big possession. And he shows how excited he is to be here on this Saturday afternoon. The Bulldogs right now up 3-2 to two in a close, hard-fought first quarter. A lot of defense on display here. Good defense, as we said, did a great job. They forced the cutter to step in front of the person who set up the screen, and the turnover happened. And now Hamilton sets up the offense over King. Long pass across. 15-foot jumper, no good. Hamilton rebound to Basalt. And right now, our Lady Bulldogs, they're trying to find which one of our players is going to have a shot. Oh, and they're off the back iron, doesn't bank in. Well, I was trying to find who our shooter's going to be today. So far, no one really putting much in. Had the one early basket, and that was it. And then just one free throw since then, and we were down to under three minutes in this first quarter. You know, but I just have this sense, Shane, of when is it going to open up? And there it was. As you 
boom, because the Bulldogs have had so many opportunities already, just nothing falling in right now. Timeout on the floor, Basalt Longhorns, Moffat County up 5-2, it's MoffatCountyProud.com. During the timeout, we were talking about getting some of this, getting back on track and getting some of these shots to fall, and that's what the Bulldogs need to get going as they come out and try to press hard on Basalt, and they'll get rid of it quickly. There's another forced turnover. You gotta love that. Again, the Lady Bulldogs have won for many, many years based on their defense. When they find that shooter, that is just some uh, it's a whipped cream on top of the pie, so to speak. Nice pass underneath. Assist King, basket Camaletti. Beautiful play by the Bulldogs. Yeah, beautiful. I mean, King right there sets it up. The fact that she's such a good outside shooter, she drops a dime perfectly in there for the assist. And we get two. And there's the block shot. <laughs> nice block by the Bulldogs. I couldn't see if that was Baker or Duzik. Did you see? I believe it was Baker. Came over and put that stuff out of here. Hamilton, great job. Uses some quickness to tie it up. Forces the jump ball going to stay with the salt. I like this lineup, Kip. You've got pretty good height. You've got some speed out there with your point guard, and they're doing a great job right now. Contesting every shot. Salt really doing a good job right now keeping that ball moving. It's something that they have to do because if they don't, it seems to be that Moffa County's getting all these turnovers. And so Basalt's nobody really wants to sit there and, hey, we're going to pass the ball quick. Three-point attempt is no good. Picks up the foul. And it'll be number four, Kate Schrock, going to the line for three yeah, attempts. Yeah, this is uh, tough here. See how well she shoots because we're going to get three opportunities to watch. This is the first one off the right side of the iron. You know, that's the only way you can get the four point play in this day and age. You get fouled, you make the three, and then you make your next free throw. She missed it, so she's shooting three free throws. Try to say that fast. Second attempt, no good. Shaka Jr. for the Longhorns. And third attempt, no good. So they pick nothing up out of that. Those are ones that Basalt needs to make if they want to stay in this game. Basalt picks up its first turnover of the game on an errant pass by the Bulldogs. There's a nice shot. That's number three, Carson Knotts, and she'll put in her first two of the game. Yeah, the lefty drops her first points in, and she's been unafraid to shoot. Finally gets one to fall, and you can tell she's the shooter on this team. She's had no fear going to the basket, and she pulls up there. It's a really nice jump shot. Now it's down to our Lady Bulldogs, King with the ball. Under a minute left here in the first period. 7-4 lead for the Bulldogs. Baker will turn it around near the free throw line. No good. Duzik's fighting for it on the ground. Loose ball, jump ball. This time it's going to be Moffat County. So seven to four, Lady Bulldogs up. 43 seconds left here in this first period. A highly contested affair here at the Bulldog Field. Nice shot by Baker. She hits nothing but the bottom of the net. And so far, Kip, our, our offense is really just everybody on the floor. A lot of scoring spread throughout this unit. And uh, that's a good thing. Rebound to Baker. Nice contested shot again. Lady Bulldogs had a hand in the face of Basalt. They bring it up now. They've got 10 seconds left here. Might be their last possession of the first quarter. Oh, and she hurt her leg. Hopefully she's okay. Nice cut by Camaletti inside. It looks like she got a knee to the thigh. Yes. Hopefully it's just one of those dead legs like you used to run up and give your buddy in the hall. They hurt like heck, but they go away quickly. And Duzik is going to go to the line for the Bulldogs. Camaletti will come out on, as will Hamilton and Baker on for the Bulldogs. Bernice, Samuelson, and Gumber. 
five seconds left, first period. Bulldogs trying to make it 10 to four, but they miss. Here goes the second of two free throws. And she nails that one, nothing with the ball to the net. So five seconds left, 10 to four, your Lady Bulldogs are up. Good job, and it all looks the same on the stat book. One more steal. Now let's thank all of our awesome sponsors who make it possible for us to be here bringing you this game. Hey, make sure to say thanks to Bank of Colorado, Cedarson Supply and Rental, TMH, the Memorial Hospital, 3B Enterprises, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Cook, Chevrolet, Ford, and Subaru, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, Mountain Air Spray, Colorado Northwestern Community College, GCR Tires and Service, DMP, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Craig Family Dental, Chaos Inc., Identity Graphics, F and Associates, Bear River Young Life, Rocky Mountain Automotive, and Craig Veterinary Clinic. And make sure you like us on Facebook and share us. We love to hear from you too. Drop us a line. We'll be right back on MoffettCountyProud.com. The Salt will bring it in here to start the second period. Moffat County up 10-4. Quick three-point shot by the Salt, and it'll fall. That's Kate Schrock, the junior, her first points of the game, and they come from way outside. And just like that, the Salt's right back within a basket. 10-7 lead for the Bulldogs. We've got ourselves a ball game here. Yep, and now here we go. King drives to the hoop, misses that off-balance shot, but a good rebound by the Bulldogs. Another one, King tries to put it up, has it stolen, and now it's one on three, and Basalt goes the distance. My goodness, Carson Knox goes against three Lady Bulldogs, puts in the layup, and we have a 10 to nine ball game, but right back up the court for Lady Bulldogs. Oh, and a missed opportunity there for the Bulldogs, as we have Brooke Gumber miss that shot from close range. She did have a hand in her face, so. Good, some good, good entertainment here on a Saturday afternoon. 10-9, to 9, the Lady Bulldogs. Emma Samuelson now with the ball top of the key. She tries to throw it to the side, but it's thrown away. She was trying to throw it to Bernice. So Basalt, believe it or not, with an opportunity on this possession to take the lead. Looking top of the key, nice speed down low, up top. Long three pointer. Oh, nothing there, the old air ball. But again, as I said several times already, Carson Knotts is not gonna stop shooting. She's gonna keep pumping those shots up and make more than she will miss. Josie again, taking the lead up top. Now she looks for some help. Samuelson with the ball. For nice. King kind of leading this group on the floor right now. Throws it to the baseline. And that was McDiffitt with the ball. For nice will take the 12 foot jumper. Nice rebound by Gummer. She battles for it. No good there on the second attempt. Another good rebound by McDiffitt. Yeah, McDiffitt and Gummer right there imposing their will on their rebounding numbers on this possession. Samson just loses a hold of it and it's going to go out of bounds. 6.05 on the clock. And a bunch of subs coming back in for the Bulldogs. Back on the court comes Duzik, Baker, Camaletti, and Hamilton. And Gumber will join those four. Samson just with a case of the nerves there. We know she's a good player. If she gets back out there, she'll make up for that. Right now, Hamilton, as you said, back in the game. Bringing that ball quickly up the court. Now, King taking that break now, she said. And the feet inside, no, no hurry here. You never have to rush your shot. Here we go, from way outside, and nothing but the bottom of the net for Cam Oletti. First three-pointer in the game for the Bulldogs. That was a big shot, kid. Yeah, and we needed it at that time with a one-point game comes at a good time for the Bulldogs. Absolutely. 
Almost a steal for the ladies. Down low, what a stop. Yo Stuffarooski, there was some emphasis on it. <laughs> that would be Gumber playing tough down there with some authority. And they'll call the foul on Joe Duzik right there. She's just a powerful, tall player. And sometimes she can't help but wreak havoc down low. Second foul on Duzik. Right at the five minute mark in the first half. 13-9 lead for the Bulldogs. Oh. Second attempt, third attempt, and Basalt's going to maybe even get a fourth attempt on this possession. Oh, Gummer comes up. Good defense, though. When yeah, you're playing you're, tough D, you're going to get some of those. They're nothing easy. And when they're down low, they're not going to get an easy shot. And so now force them to earn it at the free throw line with the charity stripe. First one is off. Michelle Marshall, freshman for the Longhorns. Longhorns right now. 0 oh, for 5, I think, from the, as you called it, the charity strike. Got to make those free throws. First thing you should ever learn when you start playing basketball. Moffat County not shooting particularly well from the free throw line either. Baker with the rebound. Doing a great job of that today. Hamilton speeds it up court. And they'll reset the offense with four and a half minutes left. And a four point lead, 13 to 9. if King can heat up here in this second period now that she's had a rest. Here it is. Good luck. Just off the back iron. Good rebound though by the Lady Bulldogs. Had to go Duzik. Right place, knows where to be. Picks up the rebound, puts it in, and she's sitting at five. The Salt not wasting any time in transition. They get the ball down the court quickly. But it doesn't take long and Moffat County's gonna bring it right back. 15-9, under four minutes to go in the first half. Let's see how they finish this second half of the second period, you know, right here before half. Let's see how they run their offense. Let's see how they finish leading into halftime. Nice basketball movement right now. There's the long shot off the back iron, and it was a contested shot. Good rebound kick, but knocked out of bounds. Looks like you got some feet tangled up and no call on the ref. Like they say, right? Let them play. And they are. Yeah, not many fouls in this first half. Only six total fouls called in the first half. You know, and that's fantastic. That's why this clock has moved so quickly. Because it's a clean, pure game right now. Deep three-point attempt. Oh. And off the backboard. Bank shot in. You know they never mean it that way, but they still count the same. <laughs> yep. Now we got something when our Lady Bulldogs put in a bank shot at some point down the road, I'm gonna make something special, but, but not for Basalt. So good rebound, good steal by King. Look at that, right under the basket, dropping dimes. Maddie Joe Guzik puts it in for two, and the Bulldogs build that yeah, lead. Yeah, and knowing where five. people are at, because Baker had a shot there, but it wasn't the best shot, and she immediately passed it to a wide open Duzik, who had an easy layup. Yeah, there's no greed there. It's not about if I score, it's if we score. Here we go again. Now look at that, down low, dropping dimes again. King setting people up for success. I just cannot hit those short shots. And another good rebound. She almost puts it in McKenna Baker. So Baker's going to go to the line for her first free throws of the evening. Moffat County right now shooting about 50% from the, from the line. So that's something that they definitely need to start doing a little bit better tonight. Usually, usually they shoot really well from the free throw line. Well, and you see as the season gets near that point where it's really important, being regionals and then state, hopefully, 
The best free throw shooting teams are the teams that generally make it the furthest in the tournament. There's a good one. That one rattled around, but it found its way home. Baker with the free throw. Two on one, and that is a great pass by Vassal. Nice there. block by Baker. Yes. Gets the stuff. It's picked up by Moffat County. Loose ball almost gets away from King, but somehow she holds on to it, kicks it in to Duzik, who's fouled, and now she's back to the line again. I mean, how cool was that? You could see the Bulldogs were running the fast break, and you had, what was it, King pointing over that Duzik was more open than she was. And that's totally, there's no greed factor in the scoring. Just get the best opportunity to succeed, and they did. Now they just need to cash the check with these free throws. Second of two. And there it is. Drops that one home. So seven point lead. This is the biggest here in quite some time. And that's what we wanted to see heading into halftime. Nice trap by the Bulldogs. The Salt finds their way out of it. They got a wide open three. And just off the mark. Hamilton with good effort there. It's going to remain the Salt ball. And uh, that is what will happen. If you beat a great pressing team, you're usually going to find someone really open, and they're going to have an open shot as they did there. They just missed it. Nice feed down low. A lot of contact, and that's going to be another foul on Baker, but she is not letting anything go easy down low. Miramontes at the line for the Longhorns. He nails that one. Makes it a six possession game, or six point game, two possession game. Oh, and after. And looks nothing like the first one. Off the mark, and it's coming back for the Bulldogs. 19 13 lead for the Dogs. That one slipped. <laughs> I do. Because the first one, as you said, was pure. It was perfect. Uh, Baker trying to get it down low. Keen calls out the offensive set, so she won't be the inbounder this time. It'll be Hamilton. And deep to Duzik. King to Hamilton, down low to Baker, who step drops and just barely misses that shot. Yeah, beautiful turnaround jumper, just didn't get the roll like she would have liked. Good defense again, King with the stuff, Ruski, and now Bulldogs bringing it up court. One, two on three, missed the layup, but a good rebound. Camaletti, she shoots a three, and she drops it in the ocean again. Second three-pointer, I believe, in this game, and it was a nice-looking shot, kid. 22 to 13, the Bulldogs have built a nine-point lead, and uh, it's one of the biggest that I believe they've had in this Yeah, game. biggest lead of the game, and they force another turnover, and are going to try to add to it with 33 seconds left in the first half. So our hopes were realized. We were hoping that the last four minutes they would pull it all together, and they have. They played a great final four minutes of this first half. Uh oh. There's some anger going on. There. <laughs> Fighting for the ball. I like it. Big time. See some com competitive spirit by young ladies from both teams as they wanted that ball. Timeout on the floor, Moffat County. 22 seconds left, 22 13 lead. It's MoffettCountyCrown.com. All right, Moffett County, County's got a lot of time to get one last good look. Shoot it early, maybe you get a second or third attempt. Had good boards all game. Baker takes a really oh. long shot. Not a shot you don't want to see her take most of the time. She's usually inside. And still had a lot of time to work yeah, I, with. I think they might have thought the clock was a little bit more of a factor at that point. That, that's all I can assume there. So now Basalt's going to try to get a shot off. I don't even know if they're going to get it past half court in the last seven seconds here. 
Here we go, no time. Half court attempt, had the distance, but won't fall. And that's gonna end it 22 to 13 at the end of the first half. Moffat County holding on, trying to pick up another W in the Western Slope Conference. Action brought to you by these Moffat County crowd businesses, Bank of Colorado, Severson Supply and Rental, the Memorial Hospital, 3B Enterprises, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Cook Chevrolet, Ford and Subaru, Mountwest Insurance and Financial Services, Mountaineer Spray, Colorado Northwestern Community College, GCR Tires and Service, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Craig Family Dental, Chaos Inc., Identity Graphics, Epp and Associates, Bear River Young Life, Rocky Mountain Automotive, and Craig Veterinary Clinic. Remember to like us on Facebook and share the video with your friends and family. We love having you. It's MoffettCountyProud.com. We've got the uh, drum solo competition on our deck here. That's a good idea. Some good stuff right here. Severson Supply and Rental, and the Memorial Hospital. Bulldogs will start it off first. There's a good give and go. Missed shot by Maddie Joe Dusig, but she gets her own rebound. Up top to Hamilton, foot on the line, and it's too strong, but there's another good rebound, and Baker puts it in for two. So Shane, in the first half, leading scorers for the Bulldogs were Janet Cavaletti with nine, and Maddie Joe Juzik with eight. So Camaletti comes in and gets hot. And then one of our starters, Juzik's always among the top scorers. There we go. Let's see if we can set up another shot here. 11 point lead, the biggest of this game. And the Lady Bulldogs pulling it together now. But they're very early in this third period. Joe Juzik on the left side of the key. And there we go, nice give and go again. Joe Duzik just needs to put it in. He misses that after she gets a second rebound. She gets the third. They're gonna call the foul on her. And she is aggressive beyond all words. She just needs to put in those close shots. She's right there, she's doing all the work. Third foul on Maddie Joe tonight. The Salt will bring it out. 6.50 left here in the third. Good rebound to Camaletti. Bulldog defense staying strong. Bulldogs leading scorer bringing it up. She has earned more playing time in this game. And a smart move by Camaletti as she finds herself trapped and throws the ball off of the defender to get it back and get a new start. Inbounded to Baker. King with the ball is going to drive. Hamilton with the three. Off the front iron. Camaletti adding to her team leading nine points as she drops in number 10 and 11. So the Bulldogs again with their biggest lead of the game, doubling up their opponent 26 to 13. And Basalt shoots a three. It's off the front iron. And this game is changing very quickly in front of our eyes. Or two, when you, when you look over there to the far side, they don't have the bleachers pulled out as far, and so it looks like the court is a lot wider. You have to be very aware of the bloom around the outside of this court. Salt tries to get it inside, has to regroup, 
put it to the top of the key and restart the offense. Another three-pointer missed by Basal. Good hustle. Hamilton tried to get out there. Oh, and she fouled her on the three-point shot. Wasn't sure she was going to pick up the foul. Now, Whistle came in really late on that. Nonetheless, yeah. there's the foul, and the Salt's back to the line for another three. Neither team shot particularly well in the first half from the line. We'll see if the Salt can change that here in the second half. Yeah, these are a big trifecta of shots here. And the first one is missed, because I was going to say it could have brought them back to within 10, but now that's no longer on the table. And Basalt right now, and I have them at about one for eight from the line. Yeah, I was going to say, this will be the second time that they have missed all three free throws on a foul three-pointer. So you think about that. I mean, a nice rebound by Baker, but they could absolutely be in this game if they were even shooting 80% from the free throw line. Hamilton with a nice drive. She'll pick up the foul, and she'll find herself at the charity line. And she was raring to go. She so badly wanted to get that ball and drive to the rack, as they say. And she did, picks up that foul. Let's see now if she can make this pair of free throws. Oh, nothing but the bottom of the net. First of two is good. We'll go out on a limb here and say she's going to make this one also. Oh! Oh, and I kiss it that again. <laughs> Goes and gets it though. They're going to call it out of bounds along the side, closest to our coach Nipker. And it will be the soft ball with the Lady Bulldogs up by 14. And that's going to be number 12 for the Longhorns, the junior. Miramontes, she's going to find herself in another chance to put in some points for Basalt. She was just inches, maybe millimeters away from uh, putting it in and going for the and one here. But nonetheless, she's going to shoot two, and just they cannot make these free throws. And if you know what, playing defense, you're going to make them earn it at the free throw line, and they are not earning it tonight. Finally, they drop one in, Kip. Hamilton brings it across the timeline. Bulldogs will set up the offense. 27-14 lead, under five minutes left in the third period. Inside to Gumber. Loses a grip on it. She's quickly tied up by Knotts. She's tied up by Knotts. <laughs> Cynthia Knotts, that is. Yeah, I'm a little slow today. That hit me late. So I had no <laughs> reaction, and then I had nothing to say because I was speechless. <laughs> so Basalt will take possession. Yeah, we talked about free throw, Shane, and you're right, how important they are down the stretch. Beautiful block by Gumber while we're talking. Yes, sir. And down the stretch, you're right, you have to hit those free throws. They're so important when you get into these uh, big games towards the end of the year and then move your way through districts, regionals, and the state tournament. And those are things you cannot um, afford to miss. And right now, the Bulldogs are shooting just five for 10 from the free throw line. And a vast improvement, and, and that's not a real great number as it is, but vastly improved upon what result is. So both teams with work to do from the free throw line, and there's the three-pointer and just off the front of the rim. But a good rebound by the Bulldogs. And look at the hustle here. But Baker gives it away to Basalt. And there you go, Hamilton. It looked like Yep knocks it off of Basalt. That was a fantastic, aggressive play. And it worked out perfectly for the Lady Bulldogs. I want to see here if we can get Kay involved. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not sure. Does she have any points on the game, too? She does not. Yeah, Baker with the beautiful drop step turnaround. 
So I look at it this way. If we can be leading by 15 points and King has not made a shot, that's fantastic. Because when her game is on, she is an enormous part of our offense. So when something isn't working, you go to your other aspects of your game, and that's what the Bulldogs have done today. But I still like to see King get that shot or two down as Basalt travels and turns it over to our Lady Bulldogs. On for the Bulldogs comes Bernice taking the place of Camaletti. And subs in also for the Longhorns. Three twenty-nine remaining here in the third period. Here we go. Yes, you ask for it and you shall receive as King drops it in the bottom of the net. A perfect three-point shot. And she gets out of the rut there, gets three on the board. Big shot for the Bulldogs as it puts them up by 18. Oh, and they answer right back with the lefty. That's Carson Knotts making the three to answer the Bulldogs three. And now the defense comes back, causes a tie-up to be a jump ball. It'll be Basalt, so another turnover forced by Basalt. And nice block inside by Baker. Loose ball flying around. Baker finds it, kicks it out to Bernice, and they're on the move. Good rebound, Gumber. Shots, yeah, no so good. Tall. Looked like it was going to be picked up by Basalt, but saved by Bernice as she kicks it into Hamilton, and the Bulldogs will reset. You see Gumber, she can just reach up over everybody. Here's another one, and Booyah! She's heating up. Two in a row for King. Just as we had talked about it, finally, instead of the kiss of death, we gave the positive push to your Lady Bulldogs. And with right that back. last three, Basalt says, hey, we want a timeout. Oh, baby. I want you to remember to subscribe to the Go Big Blue channel, and you can get all your Moffat County Proud videos. It's MoffatCountyProud.com. So after a quiet first half, Shane, King is definitely heating up as she's hit back-to-back -back threes. Yep, dropping bombs and taking names, and she is on the money now. She's a ruthless sniper right now. Down low, nothing but air there. Oh, but Basalt gets it back. Nice little pass, and it's the first two in a little while here for Basalt to make this game 35 to 19. Long pass by the Bulldogs. Gumber not able to handle it, and turnover brings it right back to the Longhorns. Baker will take a rest. On for Baker comes J.C. McDiffins. So much depth, as we've talked about before, on this Lady Bulldog team as they steal the ball. And they'll slow it down here. Hit the king again. A minute and a half left here in the third period. Nice pass from King again. Bernice just misses that down low layup. Here we go, two on two. Nice block by Josie King. Second attempt though, Basalt's gonna get fouled. And they're back to the line. And like you said earlier, Shane, really, this is an okay place for them to be right now because they haven't really got it done from the line tonight. Yeah, I mean, if you can discover early in a the game they just cannot make free throws, then make them go to the free throw line. And there it is again. That one, they call it the friendly basket, the shooter's roll. But it ends up being one just as the same as it would have been a swish. So first one good. Let's see how she does on her second. And Emma Samuelson comes in now. Second shot up, no good, rebound to Gumber. She'll kick it out to Bernice. Over to King. And the Bulldogs set it up. Bernice eyes the three. Woo! And nothing but net. That was beauteous. If that's even a word. Beautiful too. Drops it in to give us an 18 point lead with 52 seconds left in the third period. Six Bulldogs contributing to the score so far. 
Look at the great positioning there. You see our Lady Bulldogs, no matter what end of the reserves you're at, when it comes time for the things that you need to do well, we do. You see right there, number 34 for the Bulldogs, McDiffitt had great position for the rebound, and that's why she got it. She had boxed out perfectly, and do those little things perfectly is how you do great things like that. Great pass to a, with a great pass by King as she saw the cutting gumber go right down the lane for an easy two. King has really been a fantastic facilitator, a facilitator in this game as she has set a many, many of her teammates up for nice shots. And this is the kind of game when they start making those shots, she's going to have triple double uh, chances here because she's had a lot of nice chances for assists. If her partner's in crime out there will make those shots, she's going to get 10 assists in one of these games. Just off the mark. And with one second on the clock, Mava County's going to get called for the foul. And no harm, no foul. Not going to put them to the line as they are not in bonus yet. And Basalt is going to try to throw it in here. Mava County look maybe for a steal and a quick shot of their own. That'll end it. At the end of three, it's 40 to 20. Hey, remember to like us on Facebook. Share the game video with your friends and family. Tell them about being Moffat County proud. And also, say thanks to all these Moffat County proud businesses. Bank of Colorado, Severson Supply and Rental, The Memorial Hospital, 3B Enterprises, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Cook Chevrolet Ford and Subaru, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, Mountain Air Supply, Colorado Northwestern Community College, GCR Tires and Service, Duran and Pierce Contractors, Craig Family Dental, Chaos Inc., Identity Graphics, Ep and Associates, Bear River Young Life, Rocky Mountain Automotive, and Craig Veterinary Clinic. Remember, you can subscribe to the Go Big Chute Blue channel and get all your Moffat County Proud videos. We'll be right back with the final period. It's Lady Bulldog Basketball. On the court for the Bulldogs in this final period, the same five we started with. Baker, Camaletti, Duzik, Hamilton, and King. A nice pass there from Baker to King. Now Hamilton tries to drive. Back up to Camaletti. Nice pass. You know what, that might be one time where there was one dribble too many. I think she had that to go straight to the hoop on the strength of a fantastic pass by Baker. But it doesn't matter because it remains Bulldog ball. And Hamilton inbounds to Baker who catches it off the deflection, but there's the steal. And Basal just refuses to go away. They are a, they're a scrappy team. I mean, the Bulldogs are doing great up by 20. But there you go. Basalt says, hey, we're going to play hard until the final buzzer. And uh, they definitely are giving everything they got. Yeah, Kate Schrock with the pure three-pointer there. She drops it in. And as we said, they're going to be able to look on the stat sheet here at the end of this game. And the coach can say, hey, we make 80% of our free throws. And that is definitely a ball game on the court. Ooh, all tipped out of there. And back-to-back -back turnovers by the Bulldogs. And Basalt trying to cut into that big Bulldog lead. Rebound Duzik goes up high and takes it away from everybody. Quick oh. transition for the Bulldogs. And gets a little bit too far ahead and three turnovers in a row for Moffat County. You can see on that previous rebound, Maddie Jo Duzik with the powerful, big, swooping arms, and no one was going to take that ball away from her. Every single game, just like she's going to prevent it from being out on the Bulldogs there, every single game she is constantly up there in double digits on her rebounds. And generally points, too. She is one of the top leaders on this team. Six twenty-five remaining. Seventeen point lead for Lady Bulldogs up forty to twenty-three. There's another long three in and out. And the rebound. To the ladies in purple.
The salt showing some patience right now. As they'll move it around. And Baker brings it across the timeline. Loses a handle on it. Another turnover by the Bulldogs. And at this point now, you want to finish the way you've been playing the last 18 to 20 minutes. Finish strong. Pull it back in, slow it down, run your half court defense now and run your offense. And no good, errant shot, but tipped by a bulldog, they say. So Basalt will keep it. Salt tries to go baseline, but the Bulldogs make short work of that. Say there's no room to go here, and out of bounds, Bulldog ball. Five twenty-three. Bulldogs have had a lid over the basket in this fourth quarter. They've yet to score. And yeah, we always say it that the defense is everything for this Lady Bulldogs team. And it continues to be evident on the floor. How about that drive, Kim? <laughs> Fantastic, as we have one of our stars, Camaletti, drives baseline. You see that one leg she had a little bit of a problem with early, she kind of dead legged it, went in there and dropped it in the hoop for two to give your Bulldogs a 19 point lead. Nice block by Baker. Inside to Doozy. Camaletti with a quick pass to Baker inside, not able to get a hold of it. And loose ball rolls around, picked up by Baker. No good, and some hard contact inside. And we'll see who they call it on. <laughs> I think it's going to be on uh, Maddie Joe Doozy. That's who they ended up calling on. But there's about three players in there fighting for that, mashing into each other. A cavalcade of contact down low right there. And it is on Duzik, going to be her fourth with 428 left in this final period. Bulldogs up 42-23. That puts Basalt in the one and one. I think that truly could have been, it was anybody's guess on who they would call that one on. And so now, shooting free throws. Basalt, let's see if they can uh, improve on these all these missed free throws. And there is one, dropped it in the hoop. Let's see if she can drop in her second. And that is Nicole Alvarado. And she makes both, which is a first today, and that shows progress. Here we go, full court press. Oh, and it works. They're going to get the ball right back. Basalt did a good job implementing that half court press. The Bulldogs right now, the lead's down to 17, and it ballooned as high as 20 and 22. As we approach 420, 419 left in the fourth period. Nice pass outside. This shot, and here we go. It's two on one. Nice oh bounce God. pass and finish by Gumber. Beautiful assist by Hamilton and a great finish by Gumber. That's old school right there, old school, new school. It's all the same. If you draw it up on the blackboard, that is how you would draw it up. And another three pointer now for Basal, and she's made a couple now. Kate Schrock, she's got the hot hand at this point. Here we go, half court. Good job. They beat the press. Down low, and there's going to be a foul called, and that was Gumber, who is going to be shooting two free throws. Lead down to 16 now. With 3.35 remaining in the fourth period. And 
Gumbert puts the first of two right to the bottom of the net. Swish. And second attempt off the back iron, rebound to Basal. Basalt almost drops that one in again too, and that would have been Schrock's third on uh, basically in a row. And that one was just barely off. Look at that. Oh! With a little miscommunication down there. So there's a turnover, and uh, I believe Renais is going to come in for King. And uh, that's the last I believe we'll see of Josie King tonight. A great game. Uh, she did a lot of things to make her teammates better, set up a lot of great shots, end up making a couple three pointers. And a good night for Josie King, but she didn't have to score a lot. She did everything else well. See the college. There's a good rebound by uh, Camelletti. I think the foul is going to be on Basalt for the reach. Just their second in this second half. So Mava County will take possession and throw it in. On for the Bulldogs is Quinn Pint, sophomore. Nice pass, Pint down low. I'll tell you what, this is one of those days with Quinn is here. I talked to her mom, Sharice, earlier. She today made the choice where last week she chose to come to Quinn's event. Her daughter participated in her first college track meet. This week, Quinn Penn's sister, who is one of the greatest track athletes we've ever seen in Moss County history, she is in Boulder today competing in her second big time track meet. And so today, Quinn's mom, Sharice, is supporting her other daughter. So we'll give a shout out to her and hopefully Kayla is uh, doing some awesome stuff down there. And she took a third last week in Kansas in a true Division I tournament in the 400 meter. That's awesome. And so it's awesome too that her sister is here at a young age out there on the varsity floor. One more time, shout out to the Pants. 2.20 on the clock. 45-28 Bulldog lead. Bulldogs are going to stay after this W in second place in the Western Slope Conference and look to have a home game in just a couple weeks. So is there any possibilities, my friend, that we could catch number one in our league? Is there any chance we can get there? Um, you know, I'll, there's if it would be very, very difficult because they would have to not only lose, they would have to lose, which then they win the tiebreaker because they beat us head-to-head. -head. So they would really have to lose two games to make that happen. Um, I suppose that's possible, but very unlikely. And we don't play, uh, first, who is it? This you know, and, and that's okay, because if we go in as the second seed, we get a home district game, first round. Second round, every team that wins goes to Grand Junction, I believe it is this year. And everyone will go to Junction, and um, then the Final Four play. Oh, and the winner of that gets the host regional game. So, I got you. So that's where we'll go from there. 150 left, timeout on the floor. You're watching MoffettCountyProud.com. Here we go, the final minute 50. And we were just talking league and how things work this year, Kip. So I was wondering if we played the number one team again. And you said that that's West Grand? Um, no, that is uh, Grand Valley. Grand Valley. So we only played them once this year. In the past, you would play that team twice, but the league's big enough now that you only have to play every league team once. Nice job, Quinn Pint. Hey, Quinn with a beautiful Pint. pass with a down beautiful low. pass to Josie Timmer. And Timmer somehow reaches back and gets the roll. So Pint gets the assist, and Timmer gets the bucket. And there's another three-pointer for the best player on the court today for Kate Schrock. So Basalt has one gunner out there. I'll tell you what, I guarantee when Lawton is on the court, as she is now, 
there is going to be some physicality. Pimp, Renice, Lawton, um, Timmer, and McDiffin on the court in this final minute for Lady Bulldog basketball. Going to pick up the big W tonight against the Basalt Longhorns. Renice, three point attempt, just misses. Gotta be a charge, right? Oh, and no. They're calling the blocking foul, and the basket's good, and there's gonna be one free throw. You see those kind of plays happen, and when people go to the ground, the ref's gonna make a call. You never know what way, and unfortunately, I, would, I bet eight out of 10 times, they're always gonna call the block. Um, for whatever reason, that's the way that it seems to usually get called. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's so quick and hard. Say tomorrow during Super Bowl Sunday when your kids come around the corner with some pops and you're carrying the nachos and the guacamole and it gets knocked onto the floor, you got to realize quickly, whose fault was it? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's usually the kid's fault, right? <laughs> but that's how quickly you have to decide on a play like that. And as you said, it's usually going to be the block. And another! Another three-pointer for Kate Schrock, and she is on fire. Yeah, she said, I believe, five three-pointers tonight. Yes, and, and only one miss mixed in between those five, and, and that they, one was close. And they pulled it within 10 with 23 seconds left. Basalt battling till the bitter end. Okay, kid, we were talking about it. You know, 23 seconds left in this game now. Basalt has pulled within 10 after a 24 point lead at one point, and they're gonna have number four shoot again, but the defense was there that time for Benice. But they make another three pointer, and that's our other shooter on the other side who started out so hot to begin with, Knotts. And of course they're gonna commit the foul. We've seen stranger things, and a seven point lead, and, and oh, let's be honest, we said, if you're the coach of Basalt, you're going to go into the locker room with your girls after this game, and who knows what's going to happen. We've still got nine seconds left, but you're going to say, look at the amount of free throws we missed. Look at how much we lost by. There's the difference in the game. We could have won this. And timeout, Moffat County. You're watching Bulldog Basketball, MoffatCountyProud.com. Here we go, Kip. The, the biggest thing not helping Basalt is that they, we were not in the bonus, and look at that. Oh, and she misses the shot. Another missed shot, but this is, oh, three shots, and finally, Kent is fouled, but that only took four seconds off the clock. Oh, that's... And so, 47-40, Pent will try to add a few for the Bulldogs. And that was a nice inbound pass, and what I was trying to say, but I was stuttering all over myself, was that the Bulldogs, even when they were fouling us, we were not in the bonus yet, so we just got to keep inbounding the ball. At this point in the game, if you're trying to come out, you want to be able to foul them, put them on the free throw line, hopefully they miss, so you can rebound and go down and try to cut into the lead. There we go, Pint gets on the board, there's a point for her in the scores book, and three throws it up from half court, almost banks it in. And I'll tell you what, the Lady Bulldogs, they got a lot of players in this game. They played really well. It got close in the end. Basalt showed that they have huge heart. They never quit. But at the end of the day, the Lady Bulldogs remain in second place in their league. And they went 48 to 40. Plus, they got a lot of players involved and they showed their depth. Tonight's action was brought to you by these Moffat County Proud businesses. Bank of Colorado, Severson Supply and Rental, The Memorial Hospital, 3B Enterprises, Rocky Mountain Machinery, Cook Chevrolet Ford and Subaru, Mountain West Insurance and Financial Services, Mountain Air Spray, Colorado Northwestern Community College, GCR Tires and Service, Grant and Pierce Contractors, Craig Family Dental, Chaos Inc., Identity Graphics, Epp and Associates, Bear River Young Life, Rocky Mountain Automotive and Craig Veterinary Clinic. Thanks for being with us. Remember to subscribe to the Go Big Blue channel to get all your Moffat County Proud videos. Wow.